Hey, hey guys, what's going on? Hold on. Mm. Hold on. Mm. Mm. Okay. We're back. How is it going? It's Friday. I got off super early today. Not that you guys care. I just want to tell you a little bit of stories before we get started. I've been rocking my hair like this all week. Just right out of bed with it. I don't know if I'm starting something new. Don't really care, honestly. I'm growing my hair out. So this is basically I shave my head and just let it grow out. And this is what we have. It's all one length all the way around. Kind of look like a Credence Clearwater Revival. Maybe a Beatles. A beetle so pretty cool I'm just gonna let it keep going I've had my hair long for a long time and just shaved it no, about some months ago we're just gonna let it grow back out again fuck it anyway this box came in kind of weirded out how this fucking mask is gonna fit in this box I don't know I mean it's like the biggest priority box I guess you could get I'm not gonna show you any addresses or anything like that yeah, that's not cool but anyway um, this person I talked to we all we thought this thing was lost couldn't find the tracking I had traded a few things for this so you know uh, it is what it is but it's really cool it's an 80s piece I don't think this was done by that gentleman I think it was done by another gentleman we'll get into that in a minute let's open it up and make sure it's the right piece first because that I'd be devastated, you know. You get this big smile on your face, you're like, here we go, and you look in the box, you're like, fuck. But it's all good, even if it isn't, because this gentleman is a gentleman, and it's cool. But if it's like the other piece, it's pretty big, I don't know. Yeah, sure enough it is. Show, show enough it is. So now we can get talking about it. This is from the 80s, the late 80s, I think 88. Joe Reader, Erebus, and then you have Cerebus, Erebus, Cerebus, Erebus, Cerebus. I think Cerebus was sculpted by Harry Inman and maybe one other guy as a collab. I'm not sure if that's even true. Somebody had told me that, but you can't always believe what you hear. I don't know. This is all Joe Reader, but I don't know. I'm not sure if um, Jeff Death painted this one or whatever okay so we have a few things to go over on this mask yeah on the back 1988 house of horror that's what Jerry reader called his company studio has got a little tear in the back as you see here right there it's an old mask i don't plan on wearing it it's just right there ever so light there's a tear it's okay i'm not gonna wear it so it's not gonna get any worse um, I like how this is all glossed over. These teeth were added separately, the, just the tops. The bottoms are OG, I believe. Uh, but still, man, I've never seen an Erebus ever, you know? There's so many Death Studios pieces, let's face it. So many uh, old sculptors and whatever made so many pieces for Death Studios that it was like, it was crazy, right? So it's like you're ever learning about these things all the time. But there it is. So I traded a gentleman a few things for this. Boom, here it is. I love the side profile on this guy. All this, all this little transition work here. It's really kind of gives it its own thing. And you know, in the back, really cool. Joe, this is gonna go really well next to um, Duck Crawl. I'm gonna put this right next to the crawl. They belong together for forever. That's what that's where it's gonna be. So I got two Joe Reader pieces. You know, Joe might have even finished this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I know the teeth had to get put in, and I believe Yeah, so they had to get added into this. The top teeth had fallen out, I guess, over the years. But honestly, a pretty good damn likeness to the to the original teeth i mean as you can see i mean i think the other teeth were just kind of a little bit longer and uh the color of the eye which is kind of like a yellowish color but there is some fading here on the teeth um at the tops 
some darker areas and then it goes down they're not just like bright white which is really cool but the bottom teeth are like almost like a puke green type deal like a dark yellow it would have been cool if the teeth would be dark yellow but this this mask just getting this thing is fucking amazing i mean you just don't see these I've never seen another one of these since I've been collecting. I haven't really been looking for one either, but I haven't seen one of these. I'm sure a lot of you guys, you Death Studio Studios freaks, have one of these in your collection, but I I've never seen another one. I think it's fucking awesome. I love this. This sculpt is really cool, really evil looking. He just got a little evil look on his face. And the teeth are just sticking out like that. There's a guy I work with who has teeth that stick out like that too. Yeah. So, but unreal. So glad it's here. I was freaked out for a minute. I thought it was gonna be fucking lost in the sauce, but it wasn't. And then, honestly, I have my first ever uh, piece coming in on a Sunday, Amazon. Okay, if you can even believe that shit. I've never had anything in the mail ever come in on a Sunday. So this will be the first. It's awesome. I'm really excited about it. Um, so yeah. That's gonna be fucking cool. And then we got a show to go to tomorrow night. We're gonna go see Sleep at the 930 Club. So that's just such a cool, no, 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 Sunday, when the box comes, yeah, Sunday. Not tomorrow, tomorrow's Saturday. So yeah, so this is cool. I'm not sure if Joe finished this. Like I said, I've been saying it over and over again. Uh, I'm just not sure about it. Um, I, I don't know, man, that's, that's a good one, that's a good one. Jeff could have e easily finished this back in the 80s or something. I'm, I'm not sure. You know, so that's to be determined. I don't know. Maybe somebody else could shed some light on it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Joe finished this. Either way, like I said, I love it. It's in the collection. I'm going to go right next to DeCraw. And uh, thank you so much. Appreciate this. Super fucking stoked to own this. It looks a lot bigger when I'm holding it forward than it really is. I mean, it's a normal size, I would say, head. It's nothing super, super crazy or anything like that. It just looks really big. You see, like, next to my head, you know, I have a big-ass head, but it's pretty, pretty, you know, pretty normal looking for a monster. I wouldn't want it any smaller than this. I think this is a great size for this piece to be. Great sculpt. Joe was cool. Joe was the man. Um, so... Yeah, here it is. Another fucking great one to add to the collection. Really excited about this one. Um, Scott was nice enough to sell me the craw, and I'm gonna put this right next to it. And uh, wow, two Joe Reader pieces within like a month, uh, to, you know, apart. That's just kind of crazy. You know, wasn't expecting that, but that side profile is really really cool. And in the back, took the time just to you know finish it off, not just make it like round kind of put that little V in there and you know if, if you just add it a little whatever you know if, if you add like the more you add the cooler it is you know just gives it more dimension or you know depth and um charisma I don't know man I'm just gonna shut up but there it is one more time in your face Joe Rita Erebus very fucking cool I'm pumped on it. It's going to look so good next to the craw, just because it has Joe Reader's style to it. Both of them are... Let me look at it real quick. Yeah, it'll go really good together. So cool, banging, late 80s, Joe Reader. Thank you very much. You know who you are. Trade worked out. See y'all later. Have a good weekend. Do some grilling on the grill. Get your charcoals going. It's that way. It's cool. Have a good one. Play with your kids. Alright? Play with your kids. Give your wife some. Do what you need to do. Alright? We're going to be back later. We'll be back Sunday with a new video. Sunday. Can you believe it?